736, a former Ku Klux Klansman will be sentenced tomorrow after being convicted in the murders of three civil rights workers back in 1964. A jury in Mississippi found 80-year-old Edgar Ray Killing guilty on three counts of manslaughter yesterday. The verdict came on the 41st anniversary of the murders. Prosecutors reopened that case after new evidence was found by a group of students at Stevenson High School working on a documentary. Allison Nichols, Brittany Saltiel, and Sarah Siegel join us now. Good morning. Good morning. So you guys did this two years ago when you were sophomores, and you uncovered new evidence. What was the new evidence that you uncovered? Who wants to take that? Allison, Brittany? Sure. Um, well, first of all, we were able to do an interview with Mr. Killen, and that wasn't used specifically for evidence during the trial, but it was used by the prosecution when they were sort of planning out their strategy. Why do you think um, he talked to you? I think it was just because he didn't see us as a threat. We presented our case as we were school kids from Chicago who were trying to learn about both sides of the civil rights era, and he thought that, you know, there wasn't much we could do. And what was the new information that came out of that interview? Um, well, the thing that we really took away from it was the fact that he still clung to the beliefs that they were communists. And after all these years, his feelings towards, you know, civil rights hadn't changed. And it really just showed that, you know, the Klan mentality is still embedded in the men. So do we think it was just a matter that he was so brazen after all these years that inspired prosecutors to say, we've got to pursue charges? Or was there actual evidence that you found? Um, well, there were people in Mississippi uncovering new evidence, but I think what really spurred the trial to come back was the fact that people had been working for 40 years and there was a coalition in Mississippi to help reopen the case. So it was kind of a conglomeration of lots of people that got the reopening. Hmm. Um, some people criticized the verdict of uh, manslaughter. What are your thoughts on, on that? What did you think the verdict would be and what are your thoughts on that criticism? Well, I think um, just the fact that it's taken 40 years to get a verdict shows that, you know, really our point of view is that we're glad that there was a trial and that he was convicted. And the specific charge to us isn't quite as important. It might look better in the history books to say that, you know, he was convicted of murder. But the fact is that last night he spent the night in the same jail that Schwerner Goodman and Cheney were kept in. And so I think... Um, it really goes to show you that, you know, people are taking a stand and they're able to move forward. So we're focused on that more. Larry, I am struck by what losers we are because these girls did this as sophomores in high school. <laughs> Most people are, are not worrying about such, you know, big issues at that young of an age. What inspired you to do this? I mean, what motivated you to do a documentary? Usually, you know, when you're a sophomore in high school, you don't think about changing the world. I mean... Well, we knew we wanted to do something in the National History Day competition. And we thought the best way to get our point across was through a documentary. And after we'd settled on this topic, it all just kind of came together. We almost became obsessed with this and found so much information, met so many amazing people through the interviewing process that, you know, this is a natural extension of our work. And after talking to people down there, what is your sense of race relations in that part of the country, in that town especially? Um, well, it's interesting. We actually went down to Mississippi for the 40th anniversary last year, and um, when we were down there, we received overwhelming support, which is obvious indication of real change in the South. I mean, obviously, there's also still a lot of work to be done, but um, I think in the past 40 years, we have come a long way, and I think um, we should be hopeful for.